Here is Daniel Shakbax of Iran approaching the red corner. His opponent is Musa Cham from Gambia. So we're underway then, our final bout of this fifth session of boxing. And here's an untidy trip to the canvas endured by the man wearing red. That is Daniel Sharkbatch, the talented 21-year-old from Tehran in Iran. Fresh off his appearance at the Olympic Games. Concluding a wonderful year, coming away with continental silver at the championships in Dubai. Really is a skillful operator. A southpaw wearing red, capable of switch hitting when he chooses to. His opponent is Musa Chan, 26 years of age, born in Gambia, but actually lives in New York in the United States of America. Caught by a flicking right hand there when he thought he was perhaps out of punching range. Living and residing in New York, he's taken place in a few of the Ayuba style boxing tournaments over there, New York Novice Golden Gloves, and Daily News tournaments a few years ago. He won the Gambian National Selection Tournament to qualify for the African Olympic qualifying event, which took place in Dakar in Senegal. And that was the first time I saw him. We lost to the man from Ethiopia in the second preliminary round. So biggest tournament of his career. First appearance on the global stage for Musa Champ. Shark Batch up on his toes, tempting and teasing. Forward for eight. That's behind a looping left from Cham, but he's well beyond punching range, and that's because Shakbach is doing a very good job maintaining the distance. Possesses terrific feet. And now he's looking to back the man up with his footwork, flashing right hand to the body not too far away from Cham, but there was a counter single, and there's another backhand out of the southpaw stance, and another one from the quick fists of the Iranian boxer, turns through a corkscrew right hand, and here's an example of his variety and fluidity. Turns a southpaw left through once again, dropping his hands in front of his man now, looking to show him that he's in control, changing angles behind tiptoed movements. And Cham, in danger of being bamboozled here, he's got to remain focused. Often the body will move, le move less than the head when you're in with a flashy operator such as this, but this isn't flash. For showman's sake, there's plenty of purpose behind the movements of Shaq Bash as well. And a very good round indeed, produced by the boxer from Iran in the red corner.
So, unanimously scored in favor of Shark Bax. 10 8 on the card of the Italian judge. Some of the action from that opening round. So Musa Cham then, having conceded the first round unanimously, comes out and gets to work with a good two-shot burst to the body. Hooks around the corner from both flanks with scoring shots. Shark Bach remaining composed. Thought about a right uppercut before spearing out a southpaw left. There's that backhand once again, and look at how quickly he whipped it up from a different position. Shark Batch. Left hand success once more, and Musa Champ having difficulty getting to grips with this man. And again, when you're in with such an elusive opponent, perhaps. Cham would be advised to target the body. He's sent to a neutral corner because just have to ensure that the belt line on the trunks of Shark Batch is visible. So a minute gone in this second round. Quickening the movement with the feet once again is Shark Batch. And Cham just coming forward with single phase attacks as he's put on the end of another scoring single from Shark Batch. And again, he, ha hit a, he had a right hand success to the body. But if you attack in singles against an opponent as quick and reactive as this, odds are the charge is going to fall short. Can Cham? Double up the attacks, keep them going. Oh my goodness. Looping right hand missed by some distance. Almost ended up touching the canvas. Such was the momentum he put behind it, Musa Champ. As again, Shaq Bach looking to confuse and confound his opponents by do dodging, darting left and right. Again, despite the disparity in age, Shaq Bach's just 21 years of age. He's got more experience on the international scene. And that golfing experience becoming increasingly evident the deeper we go into this contest. But Cham still in there pitching, still in there believing that he can find a shot to get it done. But it's going to be very difficult to do it in the manner that he is boxing, but then he's not able to do much more because he's in with such a good operator. He backed him up to the corner now with his feet, scores with a corkscrew right hand, Cham tries to counter, but Shaq Baksh was already gone. A very difficult mission this one for the Gambian boxer wearing blue. Two rounds in the book, both of them well, I suspect the second one is going to follow a similar form line as the first and that it scored unanimously in favor of this man. So there is confirmation of another unanimous scorecard returned in favor of Shaq Baksh. He's had difficulty with cuts and injuries in the past. So he'll want to ensure that he keeps himself out of harm's way. Of course, the primary objective will be not to walk onto a finishing shot from Musa Chan because he's entering the realm now, the Gambian boxer, of needing to get his man out of there. Because boxing even up without putting his man on the floor and in desperate, desperate trouble. 
doesn't appear to have the repertoire or the experience to trouble or inconvenience Daniel Schackbach. Well, he really is looking to quicken his tempo, but look at the price he's having to pay to try and find the home for his own punches, Cham. Left hand wasn't too far away there. But he's in against a man with the same weight, so Shaq Bax will be looking to keep his chin out of the way of the punches. Shaq, Shaq Bax will be looking to keep his chin out of the way of the punches that Cham is undoubtedly looking to detonate. Oh, that's a beautiful corkscrew right uppercut landed by the man in red. Solid left jab in response from Cham. Who again is doing a good job keeping his spirits up because there's a clear golfing experience here. But Cham doing a good job of not becoming dispirited or disconsolate. Still out there trying to produce the shot that could turn this contest on its head and produce a considerable upset. But every ticking second that elapses makes the mission more difficult. And if you're from Shackbacks, is from the perspective of Shackbacks, well, this a very good way to familiarize yourself with the tournament, the logistics that are involved, good left hand scoring once again, how long it takes to get from your credit from accom your accommodation through to the venue, from the training center here, the warm up area, corkscrew uppercut is an eye catching is an eye catching shot once more. But all of these things Shark Baksh will have experienced on competition day here. And the competition itself, well he's demonstrating that he's clearly better and more experienced than Musa Cham at this stage of their respective careers. Reverse one, two, scored by the Iranian boxer. But again, it's a valuable learning experience for Cham, competing in his first global competition, having boxed on the continental stage in the African Olympic qualifying event in Dakar last year. Here he is in the vicinity of and rubbing shoulders with the very best in the world across the 13 weight divisions. He'll have been in the gym at the same time as another uppercut rips home for Musa Cham. He'll have seen how they go about their preparation, how they go about their training, the manner in which they conduct themselves. So all of this, a valuable learning experience for the Gambian boxer. But his World Championships is going to come to an end here at the first preliminary round. And Daniel Shackbach will be going through to the round of 32 in this 60 kilogram lightweight tournament where 51 boxers entered the field. So there's confirmation of a unanimous point decision victory for the 2020 Tokyo Olympian Daniel Schackbach, winning every round for all five of the scoring judges. A very comfortable route of progression indeed through to the second preliminary round where he'll face off against the Mexican boxer Gustavo Rivera, who had a bye in the round of 64. That contest scheduled for two days' time in the evening session and a wonderful way from the Iranian contingent's perspective, to ease your way into this, your first senior world boxing championships. The reigning Asian silver medalist has eliminated Gambia's Musa Cham, who kept competing all the way till the end, but met a man who knows too much for him at this stage of their respective careers. Good display by Shaq Batch. Musa Cham will have learned plenty from competing here in his first World Championships.
So there's the moment of confirmation. That'd be 